Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add physics materials to objects in Unity. Physics materials are used to adjust the bounciness and friction of objects in your scene. So for example, if you have an object like a ball and you want it to be able to bounce on the ground, uh, then you can increase its bounciness. Or if, for example, you have uh, an object that you want the player to be able to push or drag along the ground or a platform, then you could also adjust the amount of friction of that object. So you could increase or decrease the friction or you could increase and decrease the bounciness as well. So to do this, we add uh, what's called physics materials. Okay, so in the assets uh, menu at the top here, you can go to create and then go down to 2D and then physics material 2D. Uh, if you're using an older version of Unity, then it might be somewhere else in the list here, but you should be able to find it from the assets menu and then under create. Okay, so you can click on it from there. You can also go down to your project panel in the uh, assets folder here and right click and then go create 2D and physics material 2D. So you can also do it from there. Okay, so I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna give this uh, the name Bouncy. So you give it a name. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add it to the player object, the astronaut, uh, so that when the player lands on the ground, they're going to bounce a little bit. Now, I don't necessarily wanna have that in the game, but um, I'm just going to attach it to the player for now, just to demonstrate how this would work. So when you select the physics material, uh, you'll just see two properties that you can change. So friction and bounciness. And those can have values between zero and one. All right, so decimal value between zero and one. So we can see here that friction is 0 0.4. All right, so if the value is zero, then that means we've got no friction. If the value is one, that means it's the, the most friction it can have. And same for bounciness. If it's not bouncy at all, it's gonna be set to zero. If it's really bouncy, then it's gonna be set to one. And if we wanna have uh, maybe a bit of bounce, we might set it to something like 0 0.5 or somewhere in between. So what I'm gonna to do to uh, test this out is I'm gonna change the bounciness to 0 0.5. All right, and now that um, I've set those properties for this physics material, uh, and you can create as many physics materials as you like. So if I wanted to create another one um, to make uh, something slippery and reduce its friction, uh, then I could create another physics material and call it slippery if I wanted to and, and adjust the friction and, and bounciness for that. Um, but once you've created a physics material, you can attach it to an, any object that you like in this scene. So you can attach it to more than one object, but I'm just gonna attach it to the player. And to do that, you can either click and drag and drop it on the object that you wanna apply this to without, um, just make sure you don't accidentally drop it on the background or another object. Or you can drag it onto the actual object in the hierarchy list. All right, or just let go of that. If you click on the object in the hierarchy or in the scene and go down to the rigid body component, uh, you'll see the material property here and you can also drag it there. So just something to mention again is that you can't actually add a physics material to an object unless it has um, a rigid body or a collider. So um, it needs to be an object that's actually gonna be interacting with the scene and moving around or bouncing, that kind of thing. All right. So. Where it says material at the moment it's set to none, I can just drag uh, this physics material onto there as well if I like. So uh, no matter how you attach it, whether you drag it straight onto the player or over here, um, it should show up there. And now I'll test this out and click play. And it's taking a minute. And there we go. See the player just um, landed on the ground and bounced a couple of times. Just to make that a little bit obvious, what I'm gonna do is go back to this bouncy physics material and I'm gonna increase the bounciness to one. And I don't, I'm not changing this from the player, I'm changing it from the physics material that I created. So that means that whatever this physics material is attached to, when I change its frictional bounciness here, it's gonna to apply to all of those objects that this um, physics material is used on. So um, now I can click play again after increasing the bounciness to one and we should see that now the play is really bouncy so there we go all right so it's really bouncy it's going to take a while to stop 
stop bouncing. So wouldn't necessarily want that for my player. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna remove that physics material from the player because I don't really want the player to be bouncy. But if I was adding something like a ball to the scene that I wanted to be able to bounce across, then I would um, maybe add a physics material with some bounciness on it. Or um, you know, later on, if maybe I want to be able to drag or move this box across the screen, uh, across the platform, sorry, um, or I want, I want the player to be able to push it off the edge or something like that, then I might uh, maybe add a physics material with reduced friction so it's easier to push. Or if I wanted to make it difficult to push, then I might add a physics material to that object with increased friction. Okay, so um, that's how to add a physics material uh, to an object. Just one last tip, I'm not sure if I mentioned this last time, but to move around your scene, instead of clicking and on the hand tool here and uh, moving around your scene like that, um, you can use any of these other tools here, like the move, rotate, or scale tool. And to be able to pan or move across your scene, you can hold down the Option key if you're using a Mac, or the Alt key if you're using Windows, and just click and drag, and that'll allow you to move around your scene. All right, and you can use the scroll wheel or the um, touchpad um, to zoom in and out. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.